now it's picking up my voice. Now, one second, let me get the default doesn't seem to want to work anymore. USB speakers, got it. Okay, say something, Jax. Oogity boogity. There we go. Let me go in and turn up my properties again. Because for some reason... There we go. Now maybe people can hear me a little better. Not that anyone's watching. If anybody wants to watch, that's cool. So, uh, what we're going to be doing here today is creating the map, the space map, and our universe. i seen a really cool tutorial on how to be a great GM site. The link is actually in the description if anyone wants to go watch his video, which is going to be way better than this one. Um, this is a tutorial. This is just me taking an attempt at what he did. Um, the difference is, is that he used a really expensive uh, software. He used like the newest version of Photoshop and all that. So I'm actually going to try to do it with a free version of uh, Fire Alpaca and see if I can do something similar or the same as what he kind of did. Um, so let's see how that goes. So there's Fire Alpaca. And um, first thing we do is, see, you can't see what I'm doing, which kind of sucks, but uh, file new. You want about a 200. <laughs> what now? Uh, exploring with Larry commented on my video saying, Jax, I'm on a diet. I'd just eat your arm with some lima pepper and spicy barbecue sauce. Nom nom with all bullshit aside. You're a nice prison. <laughs> <laughs> She's like going to eat my arm with some lima pepper and spicy barbecue sauce. Oh, I like Larry. Larry's a good guy. My arm tastes so good. You don't need lemon pepper and spicy barbecue. Why did it switch to the orange? Okay. What you do here is, yeah, make a line up and down. You make pretty much a, a plus sign. And then you go to a slightly smaller brush. You go across there. You're pretty much making a snowflake looking thing. And then go to a smaller brush and you just go ahead and do some, some things out there in the middle here. You'll see what we're doing in a minute. And now, filter Gaussian blur. Set that aside. So I got the preview on so we can see it. Let's see what happens when we move it up. Okay, we want the blur. Let's. Hmm, what was that? So that's a. That looks, side looks too thick. That side looks too thin. I don't like that, so. Cancel. Um. I'm gonna, I think I want to thin this side out a bit, maybe. Let me get rid of a little bit of this. Now I got a pen and just put some stuff more out here, maybe. I'm not sure what I should do while you do this. Oh, well, as soon as I get past making this thing, well, we can talk a little bit more about the uh the universe and like kind of the setting that looks a little better maybe a little bit more blurred a little less blurred okay i think i can use that file save as so we'll go traveler file art save it as a jpeg and we'll just name it Star zero zero one. Cause I got another one in there. I tried doing this earlier. Okay, JPEG quality. Okay, and now you can go over here to uh, brushes. Add brush bitmap. Open that up, and I will go to. Okay. I actually have it right down here already. Yeah, I have the, I'll use the one I have down here. Okay. So let me close that out. You don't need it. You would save it. You can save that as a bitmap, and then you go in to grab any bitmap and use it as a as a a brush. 
So now I need to make the map for this. I'm going to make it rather large, like extremely large for me. He made his at like 12,000. I don't need one for that because I'm not going to try to print it out or anything. But I want a lot of detail. So say 5,000 by 5,000 with 350 um, DPI. So there you go. All right, now what you would do with this here is uh, it's the same thing you would do with any kind of uh, role-playing setting where you're trying to make a map. You, you see me make the map for another game, so that you do pretty much the same thing. You, you kind of like draw out the basic shapes of what you want for the continents. And with like a, a role-playing game like D&D, so that you would then define those shapes down. With this, you really don't have to. You just kind of like want to show the kind of the areas of what they would they would be. I'm going to use a nice bright red for this. Now, my concept for the the, 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 the galaxy actually was, is that the, I don't know about that. I want to write the brush. Now I'm trying to do the stars. Is that it was a large um, federation or something like that of humans. So it'd be something like that. And this is the kind of the area space that they took up. This is just a giant area. And I know you can't see it, Jack. You can see it if you watch the stream in a couple of minutes, a second. Um, and before our game starts, so it's going to be like probably like 100 years beforehand, oh, there's basically a war broke out. Because when you have such a large domain as this, it's really hard to try to keep control of all of the outside forces around it, all the different little factions on the outsides. So... Um, I want to do is I want to have the, so we'll fill this in. Okay, so I want to basically have faction break off of this hole. So I just made any weird round shape like this kind of thing, and now I can have factions break off. So I'll grab a here. So say we'll go up here. You can just say that oh, there's a faction right around here, and they. They now control this part of space. And get rid of that because we'll keep it kind of round. And there's another faction. And it, it only controls, say, this part. Another faction came in and... Hmm, you can say that it took that kind of space. We'll say that the Federation actually owns out to here. And we'll go over here. And there's going to be another faction that took over there. And we'll go over right through here. A large faction owns wherever that is. Can you see what I'm doing? Are you looking at the stream now? Oh, no, I'm not looking at the stream, because even if I was, you'd be 30 to 45 seconds behind it, so. I don't like that one. too much. Versa. Okay. So we'll go over here, and there's a group right there cut out. You could send me screenshots. In a minute, I'll try to do it. It's a little harder with the, the stream going. So I'll, also, when I get done, just cutting out basically the... The outside fragments that fragmented out. Okay, put one there. there. And we'll have another one come off of here. Another one there. <laughs> so we'll say that those are the areas of different factions here i'll take a quick screenshot and send it to the discord server so they can see what i'm doing copy i'm watching a video of a dog trying to steal another smaller dog oh that's awesome and it's adorable it's like he, he's like a normal sized dog and he's there's this little white dog kind of like a uh, fluff ball in our game but bigger and um it's wearing a pink leash and the 
normal sized dog just grabs its leash and starts running around with it, <laughs> <laughs> running away from its owner. Oh, jeez. It's really cute. Alright, now we can take. Yeah, let's say it's red, so we're gonna use. Uh, let's go with different shades of blue, basically. I'll fill this one in here with that. 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 We'll get some darker ones in. Get some just some as long as you can distinguish them we do different shades of blue there we go and then you can see a big difference once again I'll take a screenshot so you can see new copy there you go there so you can see, that's like, say, that was the original one. Um, that was that big. And so, like, there's a lot of different factions that basically started trying to fight back. And eventually, uh, a treaty was reached. <gasps> was like, Ice cream truck. Oh, jeez. So, but I don't have any money. So eventually, we're supposed to pay attention to this. So eventually, um, like I said, uh, the, they, they, they broke off. They, they started warring with... Uh, pirate factions out there, different small governments, upstart like, like uh, nobles out of this out of uh, the game traveler. There's guys like nobles like that. So maybe there was a baron or something out there. He said he's gonna break off and he wants to be a king or something. And they all started breaking off of factions. One did it, others started doing it, and eventually they ended up having to just give up and let these people solidify as their own different nations or groups. So the red of the center basically is going to be the the standard, whatever we name the federation, the, the central power. The outside is going to be all these faction groups uh, on, on the outsides of the federation. Uh, I just call it that, whatever ends up being in the middle. What do you think about that? Good. Good? Okay. So with this... Yeah, ice cream truck, it <sighs> distracted me. Yeah, I, I noticed. So... <gasps> So, um, what? <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's a baby skunk. <laughs> it's a baby skunk. Okay. It's a baby skunk. Yeah, okay. Pay attention to what we're doing a bit here. Thank you. I'm paying so much attention. That you're not even, you don't even know what I just asked you. Nope. No, you didn't hear anything about what I said, did you? Oh, I did. I heard about the the barons and the kings and the wanting to control things and the. It sounds like you heard a couple words, not actually what I was saying. Hiccup, boy. So as I was saying, these factions broke off from this the central power, the federation or alliance, whatever you call it, and now they're all their own little. Nations, they control themselves however they want to control themselves. The self spaces divvy itself up after a very long war. And we're coming out of that war is about when the game's going to start. Maybe five years later, something like that. So you still have a lot of people trying to find their way. A lot of soldiers and stuff from both sides that don't really have people to fight. Uh, some of the same probably you see inside of Firefly where they were like kind of like drifting. So that, that leaves yeah. a lot of things open. Um, there's also a lot of different factions, a lot of pirate factions and stuff out here that may control different parts of the space. Uh, different, uh, like I said, old royalty that decided they didn't want to be part of that. They didn't want to be these these low people on the totem pole on the outskirts. They're going to take their own thing and become king, basically, or whatever. So there ought to be some of them in there. Um, we got to figure out which each one kind of is. But this gives us the groundwork for where we kind of want to put our stars. Now, what I need to do here is open my games folder, go into Traveler, um, Art, and then I need to bring this in here. 
I created this, and I will put a link to this uh, somewhere, maybe down in the description when I'm done. I'll, I'll put it up somewhere. People can take it, download it. I had to get this all myself. Um, this is a hex grid map. Each one of these is 8 by 11, like they're supposed to be for Traveler. If you, you zoom in, they're 8 by 11. There is 10 across, 5 down, so you have 50, four, uh, 50 sectors, 4,400 subsectors of space in here. So this is a very, very large grid. So I'm just going to go copy all. So I select all, copy, and now um, oh, first let me rename. So this is going to be sector map. Sector map one. Now I'm going to paste over it. This is going to be the hex grid map. So I name these all so I know what I'm doing. So now we have an idea of where all the sectors are. And as Traveler works, each sector is where a stars are basically. Um, planets, uh, st a star is like a solar system, obviously, the solar system around it. Each solar system has that is that matters has a um it is marked on here so what we want to do is we then want to mark a bunch of stars to do that we're going to make a new layer right over that and this is going to be major stars so these are major settlements uh things that matter on the map uh go down to the star that we made And go find a section. So now we know where in the section is going to be things that matter. So now we can take and put a star. Oh, we don't want a star that color. Probably not that big. Make them a little bit smaller. And we want the star to be probably white. Actually, let me put in a layer, add background. Um, hide all this. Let's put our black space background in, right? Okay. And now this here, we don't want this to be solid. We just kind of want to be able to... I don't know. We just kind of want to know where the sectors are. We want the hex grid on to know where that is. But see, now we kind of lost the hex grid. So let's try this. Let's go... Protect Alpha on the hex grid. Let's make the hex grid teal. How about that? That looks kind of spacey, doesn't it? You know, giant teal one. And just color it all in. Because Protect Alpha lets you only draw on the actual, which I already have drawn there. So there, now we have a better view of that. Now we'll go in on this sector again. Okay, I need to see a little more. Okay, there we go. And now we'll make the stars white. Go down and select the star brush. Let's see how it fits. So we want to put a star, like say right here. Put a star in the sector here, here. There's a dual one that could be kind of maybe be something neat. There. So those are the major ones for that sector. Go in here. This is one there. There. Um just do these randomly. You don't it doesn't really matter, I guess, where you put the the stars in the sector. The thing about travelers, you can't really go all that far. A lot of the ships only go about two. So you kind of want to make sure that you can have a decent amount of places for them people to go. So one of the problems with travel, you got to have a lot of destinations. And but when we do this, I think we're going to do random. All these will be made up in game, basically. As we as we play, we're going to roll them off as we get to new planets, so we won't know what they really are. Okay, I don't want to mess with the Federation. Let's go down here to another one. 
So they're going to have a, probably several planets. Mm, I don't want to do two on that one. Along the border, that's why the, the border's out there. And maybe this is why you know, this good dips down in there. So that's good. At least a lot of blaze want two. Put one like right there. These stars don't seem as bright as I would like them to be. That's kind of a problem. Oh, I see why. I was on the wrong. I don't think I can go back that far either. Okay. Turn off that. I was on the wrong. Oh, she's protective. Uh... I have to come on. Why is it doing that? Um, that color pen. Oh. I can't believe people boil chicken. It's not that bad. It just, it looks really gross. Oh, it does. It looks really bad. Yeah, that was a major mistake. I, I, I started putting the stars in on the, uh, the sector map. So I feel kind of dumb about that right now. I mean, it would be really juicy, though. You talk about the most random stuff. Nothing about the well, game. Well, I'm on Twitter, so... And I'm also really hungry. <laughs> yeah, well, Ooh, that sauce looked good. It was a sesame sauce. You really need to get rid of all the food stuff off your Twitter. You really do. No, I like watching people cook. Yeah, and what, don't do it while you're starving, then. Well... I can't ever look at Twitter again. That's, that's right. Ooh, cake. Cream um, cheese, egg yolk, pancake mix. Ooh, pancake mix. Heavy cream. Mix it in. More heavy cream. Mix that in. Egg whites, beet cream, granulated sugar. Make it look like Cool Whip. Mix that in with the other stuff. Put it in a cake bowl. Oh, put melted butter in the cake bowl first. Then put all this stuff in the cake bowl. And then okay, okay, this isn't a cooking table. thing. Thank you. And then cook for 70 minutes in a what looks like a rice cooker. Okay, yeah, this this isn't supposed to be about cooking, though. Thank you. Flip it on a plate and then put powdered sugar over it and it looks like jelly. But it's not jelly, it's cake. Okay, but w once again, this is supposed to be... Game oh, reality. lighten up! It's just an art stream. Have fun. Uh, this is. I'm supposed to talk about the art stuff. Come on, jeez. Well, so. you've been talking about the art stuff, and I've been quiet. Yeah, talk about it. But um, I can't see it. You could see it just fine if you were look at the stream. Well, no, because then it would be like a minute behind what you're saying. You're about 30 seconds behind. You'll be fine. Well, whatever. Either way. I don't know why I didn't cover this the edge here. When I filled these things in. Got two left. I'm probably going to start getting laggy here soon, though, because of it. I'm trying to fix this. All I see is blue. It's because I'm trying oh. to f fix the, the map. Okay. Major stars. Turn the hex grid back on. Put it to bright white. Grab my stars again. 
Now let's subscribe with my facts with Jack's channel. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. There we go. Let me. Why don't you just click on the blue when you're trying to get rid of the red parts instead of the actual red parts? Because it'll, if you have your um fill thing high enough, it'll actually Cause cover I did, that. I, I didn't want to expand farther out, really. Okay. Um, let's see the, there. So there's those for there. There's a couple on the what outer. Are the white things? Stars. See each sector? There's stars. How did you make the weird grid? I took a grid that was only one of those sections. And then I, I, I put it on there as two. I put it on there that I put it, I copied, moved it over, copied, moved it over. And then I copied that, moved it down. I just kept expanding it like that. It looks weird. It looks what? Weird. What about the, is that part of it as well? What? Yeah, I guess it is. The big um, lines the that go through thick, them. Yeah, those are sectors. Yeah. Okay, let me shoot it out. Once again, here, center this. Center. There is ten sectors across the top, I five can't down. See it yet. I, I, I'm just, just see it a second. There's ten sectors across the top, five down. Um, each sector uh, is eight by eleven subsectors. Which gives you 4,400 subsectors. Each subsector is where planets are usually aligned and stuff like that. No. Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. Yep. So now you can see it's 10 across, 5 down. Each of those are is a sector. Each sector, like I said, has 8 by 11 subsectors. Its subsectors is how you move in the game. You can move uh, 2 to 6, depending on your jump drive in, in the ship, between them. Before you need to get refueled. So this is a huge thing. We, we may only play in like this section or something like that because we're not moving that far. In, in what section? In this whole thing? Yeah. We may end up only playing in one part of it, but we don't know which part. I want to make up the whole thing. Wait, so how far can we shovel? Because you can't actually point at things for me to like look, so you're going to have to describe it. Two subsections, which is a... Which is the... The little, little hexagons. You can go about two oh, to six. Far at all. No, it's not. You, you, it's not meant to. It, it tries to limit stuff like movement and communications because if you can just Is go. Is that any, per day? That's in a week. What? But that's like not even a little bit of an area. That's space. That takes a lot of time. That's from one solar system, like each star is a solar system, to another solar oh. system. It's not planets. Those are solar systems in there. With, like, one planet of note in there that has, like, a trade unit or something on it. Wait, so what's the big blue and red thing? The, these big sections that are that are out with the red? Well, just the general big blue and red thing that you've drawn. If that's all solar systems, what's this? I said that is the, the red... I explained all this to you. The red, if you look at... It, they're in the, the Discord server. You'll see the big red one divided up. Giant red blob. That in space represents the the, um, the whole Federation, a line, whatever the original group was called. They expanded too far. Then their edges broke off, and they got into basically into all these different wars on every front. It became too hard to fight so all of them. Someone, it's stuff that people own. Yeah, so those are ones that broke off. At the end of the war, these are where all the treaties put different factions different noble people, whatever. Okay, no, um, I don't know what you're talking about now. You could okay. have just said that's the space occupied by this people. Okay, well, I, I didn't know how much you knew of it, so I wanted to make sure you understood all of it. Like, that's all. Um, uh, okay. Um, that says there. So there's a lot of planets. Basically, when you're doing it, it says that there's almost a 50% chance that there's a planet in each one of these. Um... So it's not like they're, they're, there's a ton of planets that matter, I guess you'd say. So go down here. I'm not going to do that, that core six. These little ones, I, I assume, are going to be owned by, like, probably pirate-type smaller organizations, criminal elements. Hmm. Put one out there. Because there's some of the, the smaller ones. I just did one of the smaller stars about one. 
One of the bonuses of what he did when he did his videos, he was able to just speed this up. I can actually see him do this. Um, but that's what do you think about that though? As as the basis, do do you like the concept of having all these like kind of outlier groups that are are recognized factions after the war? Uh, yeah, it's normal. So. Oh, normal sounds boring. Well, no, it's it's what happens after wars, so it makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Well, they were hoping they'd get their factions all back and they were just getting lined. That don't happen. Okay, this would be... I mean, there's a dip down there for a reason, so if we plant there, dip over here. They took that I plant. I mean, if anything, that's kind of how America happened. If you want to sum it up in one really simple, simple way. Yeah, but I wouldn't say we... I don't know, we divided like that, though. Well, interstates, you had your little spats with each other, and then you're like, nope, this... this is ours now. Yeah, switch, everybody kind of forgets. That's why we have the, uh... Ah... Uh, wow, I just rained it on that. There is a lot of the space college. between some of these, uh... The Electoral College? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was trying there to There is a lot of space between some of these solar systems, like... That's what... Two weeks there, and if you want to go from that one to that one, it's like four weeks, then. No, 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 each one, it's a... Depending on the drive of your ship. So, if we start with a drive, a, a, a jump drive that can go two sectors. It takes all the fuel that ship could hold to go two sectors, it takes a week. If you have a ship that can jump six sectors, it does it still in a week. It takes the full amount of fuel to do it. That's kind of how the game works. So every time you stop, you're refueling. It's not like... Yeah, I'm just saying, no. if you have that regular thing, some of the... Oh, you just added one in the stream that makes it a little closer, at least. Um, yes, some of them are so far away from each other that it's insane. Yeah, you just kind of put one there, so that would take about a week, and then that one there would be about a two, maybe a week yeah. and a half, two weeks there. So you could at least stop and refuel there. Because I was thinking, like, if you want to go to this little solar system here, if you don't have enough fuel, you're just going to be drifting in space till you find something. Well, you may only be able to ever go if you can't find a planet that's two away, and at first, that's as far as you go. The idea is to eventually upgrade your ship so you can go three, four, five, six, you know. As the game progresses. But don't we have to pay off our mortgage first? You can just get rid of the ship, sell off what you, what the, your debt on it to somebody else. They'll take ownership of that. And then you can also, you're also, if you're playing like pirates, you can steal ships. Like, are you going to get away with We're it? We're not really yeah. playing pirates, though. We're playing uh, under the table merchants. Is that what are, are we playing basically smugglers? I thought we were playing yeah. mercenary types. In there. We've got like the. Oh, I guess we all did go mercenary though, so I guess it's changed. Yeah, you went. Well, you're. I you're, was thinking one of us would go more fightery, which is why I went into it, and then Kaz went into it, and then you went into it, and I was like, oh, well, okay. Well, you went fighter. I went full on pirate, apparently. Um, Kaz is a doctor now. Remember, we changed that we ended up redoing the rules because the rule changed. So, Kaz yeah, the doctor. Yeah, so it wouldn't work for the, um, the the merchants anyway. Well, it does. It it's fine actually because you got, um. Well, no, because it is by the sounds of it, it's more piratey. Well, it's. I think it's more of a. I I think we kind of like left any theme behind with like the doctors and scientists. The, the pirate and the navy guy. I think we're more of kind of whatever happens, happens thing. Um, so we're probably more like the firefight crew. We're just looking for jobs. We're just trying to pay our mortgage. Well, no, because we made the background of how our characters interact and it does fit pirates more because I'm the little hostage girl or whatever and you're the pirate that keeps her hostage and the doctor is, I don't know how you guys meet, I don't remember, but that's a thing. Oh, because he's, uh, he lost his license, remember, because he was doing some, uh, Oh, yeah, and he became a drifter. Yeah, yeah. and so I kind of probably found him and like, oh, look, doctor, that doctor took her. 
So it would make more sense yeah. for it to be pirates. I still think that my, my, my pirate guy would be doing, like, every, just, she's not looking for, to be a pirate, he's still a ship, she's just looking for, he'll smuggle stuff, oh, you want a ride, I'll take a ride, a few rides, type of thing. I, I think he's more like, you'll be doing about everything to make money. But he's <laughs> just, he's just not a, he's not, a, not above doing criminal activity to, uh, to do it, that's all. Geez, some of these sectors are like, it's a lot of things going on. But like I said, we're going to make these as we go. I don't have to sit here. Okay. So all these are now done. So there is our sector. So if you take this way, oh, look, there's part of space. That's how it's divided, but there's space. Now I have to go through and fill all of these in, which is kind of a pain. All of what? All of the red. So I, I got to do oh, yeah. massive amounts of stars in here, which is fine. And then you got to do more stars and more stars. I'll start there. 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 It seems a little too circular. It, it's very circular. I, I kind of wanted it to be because I'm going to put right here in the center. Okay, right here. So I'm going to do it right now. Is that there's going to be like... Because it just seems like nothing naturally would look that perfectly like roundish. There would be like a couple of bits that go out a little. Um, let's see here. There's one there. One there. One there. I'll put like one there, one there. And like one there. And those are going to be kind of like... Should I maybe do a bit there? Okay, you can... So you can see, see, I'm going to put like one in the center there, and that's kind of where the it all started, and it just kind of grew out, and it grew out. So it spread out in a circular pattern. They went out this way, this way, the, at different times, and they just kept spreading and spreading and spreading. So you would spread out kind of circular, and that's why I kind of put these bumps out a bit in and out, because they, they kind of like colonize these stars. Yeah, but some would spike, like literally spike out a little bit as they discover things. It's just, the, uh, what they learn about space maps is they don't have to actually be that kind of accurate, I guess. I I, I have a hard time with space maps as it is because you're not 3D and you're flat. <laughs> so. Flat. Like the Earth is flat? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to have to do a little bit of suspension of belief, unfortunately, I think, for a little, phew, a little bit of this. Yeah, apparently my parents are mowing the lawns. I'm amazed they didn't make you do it, to be honest. I'm glad they didn't make me do it. Don't jinx me, please. Sorry. They might come in here and say, I'm tired, Jax, you do it. I mean, all you're doing is sitting around an art stream, you know. you got plenty of time. You might as well just go take it from them and do something. <laughs> no, thanks. I might be bored of sitting in my room all day and all that jazz, but it's better than doing the lawn mowing. At least you have to handle. I'm like me allergic now. to gardening. Yeah, I know how much you hate gardening. Oh, uh, is hanging out with you this big privilege now? It is. It really is. Uh, bullshit. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. I'm trying not to make this look like there's like a, a recurring pattern or anything. Kind of looks like a cat. Mm, that's interesting. I'm looking at how the stars are shaped and I just saw a cat. Oh, yeah. I like how you just put four in a row. I'm just randomly, completely, randomly not really thinking about placing them. That looks like a hammer. Hey, look, you're starting to make the first constellations. Looks like a person flying a pot kite, and that looks like a dog. I'm just, like, seeing random things because my eyes are starting to get a little heavy. 
I was thinking while I was eating, editing my video, I was like, oh man, it, it's 2pm. 2, 2 Have I slept yet? And I spent 10 minutes actually trying to decide whether or not I had slept since 2am. Oh jeez. And I don't remember most of my morning, so... And That's then, awesome. like, everything came back, and then I remembered everything that happened this morning. I was like, oh, right, that was today. <laughs> wow. I had that, like, tired person moment where you're, like, really, really tired, and so you can't actually think of anything. <laughs> and then you have a brief moment of waking the fuck up, and then you're like, oh, right. <laughs> Woke up, play D and D. I um uh, what did I do after that? Though? I like watched. I guess I watched YouTube for a while. Actually, I don't remember half of what happened today. Damn. I must have watched YouTube till like seven, and then I went out and got a drink and talked to my mum. No, I had a shower, and then I went out and talked to my mum, and then came back here, and worked on my CV, and watched some YouTube, and then uploaded my own video, and here we are. Okay, now I remember my whole day. And now everybody else knows your whole day. Good. <laughs> As they should. Did I eat? Yes, I did. I ate... Four mozzarella and jalapeno toasties. And that made me want more. Yeah, why don't you stop thinking of food because it just makes you hungry. I wonder who's mowing the lawn. Please be my stepfather. Oh, no one. The lawn mower is just sitting there. <laughs> They're coming for you. I was thinking if it was my mom mowing the lawn I couldn't go do anything but if it was my stepdad I might actually be able to go and make one sandwich which is just fucking ridiculous but, you know. if they're both outside I could make two sandwiches oh the sunlight hurts my eyeballs <laughs> I haven't been looking at very much light uh huh. I'm getting done with this pretty quick. How fast than I thought it would. Hmm. And if we need to add stars because you know we just can't move or something, you know we just you know oh look there's actually a star there. Or you can actually go maybe explore an area or something, find out what's there. Maybe we'll add some space stations or oh. something. My stepdad's doing that thing with the weed whacker. The, th the thing with the weed whacker? Yeah, where he whacks weeds. But it's not actually weeds, it's just the sides of the, the grass where um, it e borders edging? the concrete stuff. Yeah, he's yeah. edging. Yeah, edging with the weed whacker. Some of these look very hard to get to. Hold on, I'm trying to see. So you'd go there to there. To, 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 there, to, there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there. Okay, yeah. There are ways to get there. It would just take a really long time. Yep. And remember, news in this game does not travel at light speed. It's not like Star Trek. So the only way for news to travel is by word of mouth from ship to ship. As you go places, uh, you were so really, really slow. Yeah, kind of Pony Express type Basically of Basically like ancient Greece, but actually a lot slower because it's like a bajillion, bajillion times bigger. Which is a big reason why you can't have a control of such a large area so of space. So no one would actually know anything? No, they, they would, but it would take So that like, means not TV, there are no broadcasting systems. Yeah, so like if something happens over in the top left side over here... People in the bottom right ain't going to hear about it for like a year. If not more. Yeah. That's kind of the problem. Probably even more because it would take... 
I, 52 leaps just to get down to the bottom right from the top left. Well, yeah, probably more. Probably close to 100 to get down there. So 100 weeks. So two years. That is crazy. Um, put some more around in here. Put another one like right there. Another one like right there. Let's go put one right there. Um, so center this. And now if you take away the map. Oh look, there's space. But you don't know where they anything is. There's the stars. Oh look, he comes back. Um, now I need to have... So that's the major stars. Now I need to do... Layer, add a layer, get rid of this, and now I need to take the star map, stars, and make them a little bit smaller. Maybe even a little bit smaller. Wow, that's a big clump of stars. I wonder what I can do, edit this, I wonder if I can do with, how do you do spacing, brush spacing? Rotation, so you from different rotations, color jitter, huge, no, we got those the same. Okay. Now what happens if I do that? It's still too much. I, I, I kind of want them to be more spaced out. I can't do more spacing. So this would be the minor star things. Okay, what I'm gonna do with that here is I'm gonna let's get rid of the grid. I don't need the grid for this. I can just go put a bunch of that. Should I just go turn that off? I already need that on. I don't like that. Not at all. better okay, seven cheesecake recipes and she's back on food folks I'm always on food when I haven't eaten for hours and hours and hours what's that swishy Woo. Woo. it's really neat to watch because it's not regular uh, cheesecakes it's Japanese cheesecake so they're all like wiggly weird they look very yummy and I don't even like cheesecake Control, copy. in fact I really really hate cheesecake so. so I'm going to just start moving these around a bit kind of... what am I smelling No. Smells good. You could be oh my god, that's so squishy. Control transfer. If someone were to get me cake, I'd be their best friend. It's even called fluff, fl fluffy, jiggly Japanese cheesecake. Interesting. 
So you can just grab these Gelatin. here. Gelatin. Cream cheese, sugar. Yogurt. Kiwi cream. Nice. Pour it into one bowl and then into the other. Get matcha. I've never had matcha, but it looks really good. Okay. It's funny how you can eat Japanese sushi but not eat matcha, even though matcha is a lot cheaper and sold basically like with the sushi. Starving. That looks yummy. Matcha striped cheesecake. Beat up some white Oreos, add some butter and some milk, mix them together to make it all crumbly. Put it in the bottom of a cake tin, and on the sides, chill. Your egg yolks, sugar, salt, mix them together, milk, vanilla, essence, I assume, cornstarch, mix it together, microwave it, cream cheese, mix that in. Pour that in with the crumble stuff you made earlier. Chill. Get some egg yolk and put it on the top. Heat it to 160 degrees Celsius. Mm. My mom is making fettuccine. I get to eat it. True, that's amazing. I know. But I didn't get to see that part of the video, so I have to go back. Okay, we're up to the milk and the vanilla. And the cornstarch. And the microwaving. And then the cream cheese. Again. I love fettuccine. That's what I can smell. I knew I could smell something good. Egg yolk on top. To make it yellow. And then present it. And cut it. Ooh. It's all like gooey. Gooey custard cheesecake. Huh. Green cheese and sugar. Mix it together with eggs. Orange zest. It's just orange skin. I don't know why we don't just call it orange skin. Pancake mix. Um. Melted butter. Is this the... No, it's not the same as earlier, but it's very similar. You put the sugar around it, and then you put... Oh, you put oranges in there, and then you cook it with the oranges on top. And then you flip it upside down, and then it looks like it's covered in oranges, because that's neat. Can I put that over wow. there now? But then you have to eat the... the the skin of the orange, which sounds disgusting. Mix egg whites and sugar, then cream cheese and sugar, and then egg yolk, and then heavy cream, lemon juice, and then the mixture from earlier. Now those are all in there, I'll just fill this area in. And you fill tarts with this mixture, and then put egg yolks on top. Post oven, make them expand, and then when you pull them out, they contract again. And then they're all gooey on the inside. You break up some Oreos, put them in a bowl with melted butter, make it all look like mud and soil. Put on the bottom of the cake tin. Jeez. Chill for 30 minutes. Sugar and cream cheese, mix it together. Heavy cream, mix it in slowly as well. Till it's all creamy. Put some gelatin in. Pour some into some, one bowl and a smaller amount into another. Put in some what looks like food colouring into the smaller one. Then put the a little bit of white and then a little bit of black and then a little bit of white and then a little bit of black. And then mix it around to make a pretty pattern. And then chill for three hours. And then, wow, that looks yummy. Oh, that looks so cool. Sesame marble cheesecake. Cream cheese and egg yolks. Pancake mix. Control copy. Control V. 
No, I'm take that. Be fine. So I take that. Eat what? Beat them. Granulated sugar at them gradually. And put the long and the. Yeah. No, oh, this is the same one as before. It's the one that looks like the jello. Cook for 70 minutes. And then it looks all jello y. You put powdered sugar on it, and then it goes bazoing. <laughs> Easy rice cooker fluffy cheesecake. Wow, tasty Japan. Um, what else is on the Tasty Japan site? Because they make neat stuff. So, let's flatten that. I think Well, that looks really weird, Vin. Actually, it looks pretty good when you take the back off. You put the other stars on. Uh, I'm looking at it with the back off from the stream, and it looks like a bunch of, um... What are they called? Sliders? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sliders, the little uh, bread buns. Hamburgers? I don't, I don't, I... No, no, not hamburgers. They're like they're like smaller versions of that, I guess, and more yeah. square. Yeah, they're small hamburgers or sliders here. There's tiny hamburgers. That's what we call sliders. Yeah, that's what the pattern looks like. I have... A packet of six sliders. Um, well, it's going to change anyway, um, because I need to shrink it down. Take the grid off, take that off. Control all, control that. Because I think with the way it's, turn the major stars on while doing this. No, jeez. Gone to my food porn channel. Post the shit out of that. So I want to put some stars, but I don't want them to. My friend that. made a video for his girlfriend, um, putting together a bunch of cringy art. From DeviantArt of people uh, like Sonic and Mario making out and stuff like that, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, making a video for his girlfriend with a bunch of pictures um, that are really cringy and weird like that. So to <laughs> be like, I love you, babe. <laughs> and it's really funny. <laughs> it's actually it's like really, really bad to watch. Like it, it's painful to watch, but it's really funny. Uh, I agree with the painful part. Definitely agree with that. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. Fortunately, you're not talking about what I'm doing. Well, no. I am. But that's, you know, fine, whatever. Like, it looks good, but it also looks weird. I'm sorry, it does. It looks a little strange. It's also not done. Lower those down. Ooh, pizza rolls! So. Mm. There's the major ones with the grid. And now that gives you more of a... The idea is that you zoom in, not... So now look. Zoomed in, how's it look? I don't know yet. Okay, when it comes in, you'll, you'll see. Let me know how that, that looked. Because it looks real weird zoomed out. Let me know when it gets right, there in the... You're copying it, and then you're... There it is. So it's a copy, and then it's a paste, and things seem to double up a little. There we go. Oh, and there's that one going down there. And there's that one going down there. Oh, you're like way behind the stream that's actually on there. And uh you're moving that bottom left one, or uh, the bottom right one a little. Yeah, you're way, you're, you're, you're like... Uh, the bottom left one a little. It's actually kind of amazing how far behind you are. Wow. You're moving the top right a little. 
Okay, now I need oh, to Oh, and now you're zoomed out. And all I see is the red and blue stuff. I don't see it zoomed in. Oh, that's weird. Well, you'll see it eventually. No, you zoomed in a little, and it was kind of weird. Um. So take those there. Okay, now unclick off that. So now I want to go control. Then you take this like this and put it different ways. I oh. I'm going to absolutely destroy this Vitacini, just so you know. Yeah, I kind of figured. Ooh, you're copy pasting a whole lot there. Actually, I don't want to do that. Do all those. I I, I realized I did that wrong. Um. Okay, I want that gone too. Control all, copy. Two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna twist it around like that. Yeah. Well, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all these. And then yeah, it makes more no sense that way. Then you go transform, and then you would take like, shrink it way down, turn it this way. I'll put something in there. Would that be too many stars? They become more of a fog in the background when he was doing it. I'm hoping to do the same thing. I'm gonna look when this is done. It doesn't hurt anything because it's just. So you turn it like, kind of like that. Because now they're really tiny. Because it kind of gives it a, a depth. It looked really kind of cool when he was doing it. I'm trying to copy what he did. And if it doesn't work, I can always just not do it on here. And you kind of just... Um, like that, and then... Shrink it down, put the kind of over there. Oh, they're making a pizza and then they're putting another thing on, on top. And then they're cutting oh, little geez. slices. And then they're twisting it. Oh, that sounds good. And then when they're cooked, you can pull them off, right? Uh, That's a neat I think idea. So. Oh, that's neat. Those are just blocks of cheese. Taking years worth of Japanese classes really does help when you're watching these videos, I won't lie. Oof, silence. What? You just went silent, it was funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying that... You're saying that taking Chinese classes really helps to watch these. Japanese. Chinese. Stop saying Chinese. It's annoying. So? Don't be annoying. It's not good for your health or anyone else's. Okay, now if I say I do... Ground Nine. pork. That Take doesn't look those ground. Down to six. Shrink it down. Make it one layer, cause all these layers is just a lot. Star background two. And now this one here, I can do a filter. Let's do a that's very small.
Ooh. Throw them a bit. Okay, now I'm going to take a screenshot to show you a couple of sectors close up. Now, how does that look? You can see the, the, the large stars, small stars, and you can see like this kind of like faded cluster in the back. It's kind of hard to tell with the red. Okay, well, what color do you think would be a little better than the red? Let's put it on the black. You have to have the area designated for the zone. I know, but I, I'll at least know what the stars look like. Okay, well, let me do the stars of the sector map then. I'll zoom in again. Not the red. Because with the sector map and the, the stuff, it just looks, it's harder to see. Well, that's what the map's going to look like, so I kind of need to make sure that isn't hard to see. But if this is what it looks like without it. I oh, see, I like that. It's neat. Yeah, see, and then, um... Okay, and now can I make a folder? Does it let you do that? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a new layer. I don't want a new layer. Delete that. Folder. Oh, there you go. Mmm. I don't know what I did there, so let me go back. Really don't like, like how you can kind of like see a little bit where the the pattern went, like where this the square is a bit. But hopefully that gets gotten rid of as we do more things. Um, so make a folder. The folder is going to be called the uh, stars. And now I can move. I should be able to move all of this to the, the stars thing. Okay, what made it all red? What what what, what, the, what did I do that made everything red? This isn't good. Wait, what do you mean everything red? Oh, um, go view. View. Um, oh, it's hard to tell when you're not actually sharing your screen. Nothing in view. Um, Tell me what's ticked. Pixel grid and transparent mm -hmm. background. Okay. Go to tool. No, not tool. Hold on. Um. Filter. Nothing's clicked. Hmm. I'm curious. Let me turn off every layer and see if... Somehow there is, it like, a might red... be onion skin mode? No. no. Maybe. It's hard to tell. What did you click? I don't... I didn't click anything that I know of. I was just doing this stuff. Um, normal, 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 normal. Normal, normal. Have you tried control Zing it? Yeah, I did. Um. I'm actually kind of afraid I'll mess up something if I do too far. Yeah, see, now it's undoing the layers that I flattened. It's not taking off whatever this red is. So just redo it. Um. <sighs> I've never what had did this you happen. Click? I have, and I don't remember how to fix it. Um, file, new, 
Okay. Let me see if I can get it to do that. It's not that. Colors. No, it's not that. Because it's not a filter. It's got to be a setting or a view I have it on. I wasn't looking at the filter. No, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about what you're doing. I'm just saying it, it can't be... By the way, onion skin mode is really neat, and I'm going to have to use that when I do my animations. Um... Because even in my hex grid, it's now red. So my other my other image is, is turned red. It's something to do with a, a setting in... Color management settings. I've never had this happen, which is just weird. Um... Seriously, what were you clicking? Nothing. I had to hit a button on action. It had to be like a, a, a set of buttons that did it, like a control. Because all I was doing was making a file. What's really weird, too, is because I... These aren't making any image. Let me see here. Put the black on. That does now. Those come on. That comes on. None of these make an image anymore. Oh no, there's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. Okay, so now they're, they are showing up. Okay, that's good, though. It's not no, a I can't find anything on Google because I don't know what to look up for it. Neither do I. This is weird. I'm so weird. Snap. This is so weird. It's like I just have a constant red on my background. Like, a, like, a, like there's a, f a layer I can't see. No, it's not. It's, um... I got I got rid of it. How? Let's see if that this does it. Okay, edit and do that whatever that was. Okay. Go to I had to go to the select. I I was I had to get off. Somehow I had it selected in a certain way. Cause when I clicked on the select tool, it does it. Oh 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 oh! It's this one. Yes, it is. Uh, it's the it's the um. You see that that's how I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go on to the ones under the magic wand yeah. br uh, brush. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. I've never used it it's, before. It's um, a certain kind of selection. I don't remember what it does, though. I can't make it redo it. I have no idea. You go on to um, the uh, pen one or the eraser one, and you go control A. Oh, I, yeah, I don't want to do that. I accidentally hit control A, apparently. That was not in, in any way intentional. Um, Yay, we figured it out. Yeah, that was weird. I've never had that happen before. Um, Control, all. Actually, I'm going to go copy. Do a few more layers there. Control that, thank you. Shh. Oh, my neck. <sighs> Kinda move these around. There we go. 
cork. So there's a weird pattern in there. And then grab this one here and transform that. Uh, oregano. Salt and pepper. Juice. Juice. Pour it on the pork. There. So break a hole for a little bit of that weird look. Either way. Some of these layers so it stops using so much of the RAM. And now I'll call this Starbucks into. Mmm, pork. Now create a folder. Call it stars. Apparently, when I try to do that, it doesn't. I see how I did it. I just did it again. I was trying to rename Wait. my damn folder stars and it, it messes with it. Oh, jeez. So that doesn't let me go in the right way. Japanese recipes are so weird. Neat, but weird. Quick, it's not nearly as. Okay. You are. Hmm. I should be able to collapse the folder. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Um, and now I can turn off. Actually, I want to take the sector grid out. Just want the majors in there. Let's take the hex grid out. There. Turn that off, turn that off, okay. Now I need to find something really quick. That one can be cool. So I'm going to... Copy image. Go over here. Control V. Control T. So you just go get some smoke. Wait, why did it do that? Okay, uh, exit that. Just select just that. Turn the next grid off. I don't need that. All I need is this here. Control transform. Put it in the middle. Didn't say that. So there is that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't really like how that turned out, so let's not use that. Let's find a different kind of more swirly type of smoke pattern is kind of what I'm looking for. That's kind of blue. Kind of just one kind of black and white type of swirl. I'm 
No, that won't work. Me. Um, copy image. Um, open the hex. Transform. That should work, hopefully. I always find it weird seeing clear jello. Now people just eat it. That's... That shouldn't happen. That's just wrong. But it's got, like, sugar and everything in it. Like, it tastes good. It just looks really weird. There's a weird tool you can use to decorate it to make it look like flowers. That's really odd. It's really weird, but really neat. I like it. And it's like you put the jello around cakes and stuff. It's really weird. That's that's odd. Really odd. Well, let's see if it this will work. So layer add. I'm going to try to do the Ooh. nebula thing that he did. This is one of the things I didn't completely understand what he was doing exactly. So, um... Nothing like that. So it's a new one. He just used a pen. And we're going to go with... Let's do a purpley color, I guess. That might be... I think it needs to be a little bit brighter. So he just ended up... Pen tool... Opacity was down, I believe. Um... I'm going to do like an airbrush, I think, actually. <laughs> no, it's just a pen. Trying to fill this kind of in, I guess. But he didn't do that, he just kind of like went all around. He didn't really bring the like capacity down, I think, either. Maybe it was a little bit. Mm, yeah. No, he wants the opacity down here, but the pet. Okay. Let's try it that way. Delete. Still not exactly working because I wanted to kind of. Oh, there you go. Now I can actually can go over. Okay, there you go. It's getting darker in some places because it's going over. Uh, kind of find the smoke there. And then you take a little bit uh, darker, maybe. Fill in some. Other areas. And then let's go with like a blue. Now let's see if this works kind of like how he was doing it. He did overlay. It's kind of like that, and they turn the stars on. Oh, I see kind of how that worked. That's kind of cool. It's not really enough smoke to do it, though. Let me get rid of that again. Get rid of that smoke. Let's see if. Mm. 
He found with enough smoke. It looked really cool. Let's see if I can find something like it. That's too small. Now I'll let me use that one. That would be good if I could use that in a lot too. Let's see here. Well, it kind of goes up in there, does it really? Hmm, that's got photo stock stuff all over it. You still here? Mm hmm. Okay. You stopped talking about food, so I got kind of worried. I thought something happened mm -hmm. to you. No, I'm just dreamily looking at food. Copy image. I want tofu. I never want tofu, but I do right now. That's disgusting. I like tofu. That's still disgusting. Well, okay, that's rude. Tofu is disgusting. So only if you don't cook it right. Same with most foods, actually. No, nah, like, I hate fish, but if it's cooked right, I'll like it. Mm, I think tofu is just disgusting. That looks like meat. To me, it tastes like rice. Rice is a flavor? I didn't know that. Well, it does if you cook it with other stuff. That's my point. Mm. Maybe. Shut up. <laughs> How hard is it to find a damn like decent smoke pattern? Got chocolate everywhere. How do you even manage to do that? <gasps> Are they pancakes? Copy image. Not do that. Let's go find some set to find only sizes like uh, larger than there. Copy image. See how this works. Oh, yummy. Mm. It's really like that.
This is so big, it takes forever to, to render things. Or to process them. There we go. Turn the stars off. Turn that off. Go to this. Turn it on. That's an overlay. If my parents ever go out again sometime soon, I'm going to make pancakes. Cool. Um, I don't like this. Let's go to that layer. Um, add layer. Try again. But I'm, I'm just going to use... Oh, cheesy onion rings. I've never actually made onion rings before, and I'm kind of tempted to now. Because it looked really easy. I think it is pretty easy. But we don't... We do, but mozzarella stuff that you slice is really expensive. Oh, interesting. You sound so interested. Are you trying to say I'm not? Jeez. Yes. Uh, you're probably right. Oh, rude. Maybe a little. I'm the woman. You're supposed to say, no, it's okay, I'm interested. I don't know who ever told you that lie. Uh, every show I've ever watched. It's like, always listen to the woman. You need to know about her day. It's more important than what you care about. Oh, that's kind of shit. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my God. I want ice cream. <laughs> What's this? Oh my god, there's so many neat things. I would eat that just like that. See, I don't like that. Go overlay on that and then you can go like a darker purple. Let's go like I like it, but I think it. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Let's control all, delete. I think I need to go more of a green. And it's gotta be airbrush with a gigantic brush. slices and chocolate but is it really chocolate? I don't think so. Bread? 
What is this madness? That looks terrible. But I would still eat it. I was like, jeez. I don't know how much I like that because it's not letting me. This is blended as an overlay. And. Ow! If I do. So I put that down to 53. Now if I put it to 53, shouldn't it be about the same? No. Multiply. See if I can. No, it doesn't let me scroll through them. Oh, that's crazy looking. Uh, we already overlay. Let's try screen. Lighten. Burn. Soft light. Hard light. Um. <laughs> I guess overlay is all it's going to be. Put that on, that on. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working the way I wanted it to. There we go. Let me put some more major stars out there a bit. Here, sh show you what I have. Hmm. New over here. Oh, wait, let me center the. Oh, jeez, that doesn't work. Let's 
So we just step to that, do like that. Okay. What do you think of this? Upload. What do you think of the, like the nebula behind it? Do you think it's just too much? I can't seem to get the light. I like to have lightened it a bit. It makes it hard to see everything else. I think it does too. Like his didn't do that, which kind of pisses me off. Mm, like, make it less transparent, or make it more transparent. I tried doing that, but when I did it, it wasn't. Let me see. Yeah, because I tried to do, make. Um, make oh the no, no, no! More transparent. No, there we go. Okay, no. When I, I, I didn't have the black background on, apparently. Well, here, try that. Well, here, let's just get into a section, sector two. If you can do a... So you zoom in. Because you're, you're really not going to use the, the major map a lot. You're going to do sectors. So let me look at what a sector looks like. I, I was able to thin it out a bit. But now how's it look in a sector? You can kind of see it cutting through the middle. I'm, yeah, that doesn't really help with the whole big amount of stuff, though. It's space. It's supposed to have a bunch of stuff. Yeah, but if you can't see anything, then it makes your life harder and makes the players' lives harder. Okay, let me go. Zoom in. It kind of, when you've well, got here. something like that, it kind of takes away from the map itself. Let me see. What does this look like now? Does this look a little more clear? Yeah, I mean the whole thing though. Because most nebula, nebula aren't as big as like... How many is it? Like th 300 fucking solar systems? Yeah, it just kind of cuts through there. It's just supposed to be a cool look type thing. Let me zoom out. Wait, well, let me show you it. The whole map now. Yeah, when show you zoom me out. the whole thing. Because I lightened that and I lightened some of the background stars. Because I can adjust all that too. That's why I got different layers. So I can I can lighten some of the background stuff so that it's not such a problem. You see, I think it takes away from the map itself. It's supposed to add more. And it's not really visually appealing. Oh, see, I like it. Hmm. I think it looks more like smoke than a nebula. Nebulas look like smoke when you look at map. They just kind of like are just drifting things. Yeah, but not like this. And plus, it it just doesn't. It really blurs out most of the. Cause nah, I think it doesn't add anything to it. It adds color and just a fact. It isn't supposed to add to the actual then why not put it underneath the stars see, rather than on top of them? Actually, it is underneath the stars. Um, see, then, I don't know. That's boring to me. That's just... Oh, should I add a little well, it doesn't character? need to be interesting. It's a map. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't need to be just technical either. I wanted it to look a little better. I want to add a little more to it. But it didn't look that great. It, it was just too much. It overpowered the map. You if see, you're going to add something to look nice, you don't make it so big that it overpowers the map to the point where it just looks bad. Why is it doing that? Stop. I really hate what does that do. Like, even when you've got those programs that make, say, um, the paper look crinkled, the paper looking crinkled doesn't interfere too much with the map itself, and it still gives an interesting aesthetic. Yeah, see, but that's all you see. That is a sector. You can navigate that. It's not a problem. If that's the sector you're looking at, that's, that's where you're focusing at. 
You see all the stars you go to. Yeah, but it doesn't really add anything. Either does... Okay. If you want me to take away everything that doesn't add everything, star background one goes away, star background two goes away. Uh, no, the I mean, goes like, away. It, doesn't look, it doesn't add anything aesthetically. See, I think it does. I think that stuff's in the background. All it looks okay, much Okay, if you anything. want it, you asked for my advice. I... I yeah, because like if I took away everything that wasn't just aesthetic, it was just the planet, it would look like this. And I'm like, this is just dull. See, I didn't actually mind it being plain. Less is often more in things like maps. Yeah, see, that's... that's you're, not, you're not drawing a map. This isn't a map like I would draw for a table to do directions to somebody. This is supposed to be a representation of your universe. supposed to have visual effect and look to it. If I was doing a star map that I was trying to use in a starship, yeah, I'd probably use it boring. But this is not supposed to be that. Okay, well, if you think it looks good, it's your thing. It's underneath. It's, that better be underneath. Yeah, these are these are under. Stars are the fuller for the stars is above, so they should be above everything. But no, because then are they above the hex? Yeah, they are. They're above the hex. They're not really supposed to be. There now I can see the hex a little bit better. That's how it's supposed to be. That's supposed to be at the bottom of everything. I don't know if I like the red for the... Mm. Are you talking about that great GM guy? Yeah. I'm looking at his thing, and the reason that his is able to stand out more is because there's more of that color, but at the same time, the thing that goes on top of it isn't just white, it's a bright blue, and the colors underneath don't contrast with it too much, whereas on yours, the color is so light that it, it's clashing too much with the white. Oh, okay, which, which white? Let me explain this to me a little better. So I can try to fix it. So, you see how in the top one, we'll say, because it's the only one that really shows it, um, that middle area with all the stars is the green gets lighter. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure which one you mean. Okay, go to the top picture you send when you put the colors in. On oh, the nebulon? Okay. When, yeah. When you get to the middle area, all of the green becomes lighter. And it, it goes it goes too close to white. You want to make it oh. a little darker so that the white contrasts with oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. That, yeah, because I put a yellow there. I see what you're saying. Okay, let me go to this. Um, and don't forget, there are other colors like orange and blue and pink and purple. Oh, let me uh, let's let's uh, well, let's start. Hmm, I can't really start over. Let's go grab an orange though, like a you got, like a brighter orange or a dark orange. You think? Uh, try them and see what they look like. Okay, airbrush. Over it. Make sure about the right thing. Let me try to. Get rid of some of the yellow I put in there and remove this orange. Because I was thinking, like, you know, green with yellow would look kind of cool. This is such a big picture, I think, that it's... 
Because it's like looking at this, it's not... It, the white on white just looks really strange. Well, it's supposed to be yellow, it, I think. It, I, it doesn't... Like... and it, Well, yeah, but like the light colours, and it just doesn't contrast very well. Nice. And while by itself it might be a very nice looking like map of human space, but you can't really read the words without clicking on it and having to zoom in, even if they were big enough, because it, they just don't contrast good. Okay, well here is with it dim down overlay. Okay, and with the orange, copy set. That's with the orange instead of the the, the yellow, which turned to a, like a lighter color. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little better. Let's go. I don't want to. Get no, I think it's something red. about the yeah. shapes. It just the way that some of it just kind of curls off on its own and then looks like the breast cancer symbol. <laughs> it's well, the only way I can describe that loop. <laughs> find me. Search for smoke with a black background. It has to be black background. If that you like. Well, and I'm not looking at smoke. I'm looking at nebula. Uh, I don't know if nebula will give me what I need. See here, because nebula isn't all smoky like that. It's more like a, it's a, it's an, it's an explosion. Yeah, but I have to switch it out to like black and white. Oh, I guess I can do that. That's not too hard. Um, because nebulas don't—they don't really swirl or anything like that. They're they're a literal explosion. Well, it depends. A lot of them are just like gases, like. Well, no, no, nebula. That's that's what it is. No. It's a cloud of gas, yeah, but it, it comes from a boom, and that's why usually when you see a nebula, they're surrounding one area, not going all over the place. It's like the opposite of an actual solar system. This is like what we're trying. We're trying for in the look. Like that, where it's kind of all over. And smoke is just a good thing to overlay over, usually. But that doesn't look anything like yours. Yours because... just looks all swirly and like cigarette smoke, rather than gaseous smoke. It looks fine to me for what it's doing. I am trying to help. And if you go look at what he did, he should just use smoke the same thing. Actually, he had, like, a bigger thing of it. I didn't say I liked his. Oh, I do. I really liked his. I still think his looks better, though. Oh, he's way better at it than I am. Like I said, I'm just trying to do my attempt at it. Let's see. Um, It's just his... It doesn't... Like, it's... Like, his is okay, but his also has lighter colors under it, and it has, like... Look, there's a fatality. When you look up Great GM um, space oh. map, it actually goes his, his, and then fatality. It's quite funny. Oh, that's funny. I wasn't actually trying for that, but that's neat. Um... um but yeah, his is, like... It's still got things that connects them, and it just looks a lot different. Plus, the swirly bits are actually a little more galaxy-ish looking, but they still look a little flat. Uh, I need... Let me try something then. I also don't think it looks that great with the dark colors that you have over it. Or under it, whatever. With well, the green in that, because I can't use I I can't use a lot of the colors because the blue and reds already in there. So I was trying for a different thing. Oh no, I'm saying the blue and red are almost like too dark for it. Whereas his look all like 
vibrant and spacey and glowy. Yours are just dark. Yeah, I, I don't know how he got the he got the the colors right for that. Um. Well, it's not just the colors. He's using transparency settings and stuff as well. Because if you use transparency and you make things look three D, then it works with the smokiness. Whereas yours is just it's flat. I I my is actually on transparency. It's at like thirty percent. The sector map's at uh, thirty seven. No, no, not the smoke. I meant the land itself. When you look at the land itself, it's it looks kind of glowy, and you can almost see through it. No, you can. You can see through it. What land? Okay, I'm looking at this. Not land, but the little... Sm this, uh, it's hard to explain if you're not actually looking at it. I'm looking at it right now. No, the one I'm sending you. That's not what his... What are you looking at? That's what his ends up looking like. Oh, see, I don't like that. I think there's too much. And then. Blue. Actually. And everything connecting just looks really weird. Actually, here with this is more what his ends up looking like. Because here's with all the names, the trade routes, and everything on it. There's all the si different yeah, sectors. Yeah, it's the one I was looking at. You can see through the little bits of, like, greens and oranges and stuff. You can see through them, and they're a lot more vibrant, and they contrast very, very heavily with the blue underneath it. Yeah, I he can... bright, vibrant colors, and then he made them more transparent, but he's also using Photoshop, where you have more options to do so. Every option he's used, I've used. I've watched this, the whole okay. thing. I know I'm all that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that Photoshop tends to have better options rather than Firewall Packer because Firewall Packer is not meant for this kind of thing. Uh, I, Photoshop I, I, is. It's like the more the more it gets updated, the more it's used for this kind of thing. So the more they accommodate to it. And he's lowered the transparency on the what look like land masses. I don't know what they actually are, but they look like. It's obviously like whatever they're called I'm just going to call them land masses because it's a map and I can call them what I want so um, he's made them more transparent and he's also used connectors that are the same colour as the quote unquote land masses but um, less transparent to the point where they're actually more bold but they're also paler and they're not dark like navy blue and royal blue and crimson red like what you're using they're all bright magentas and purples and lime greens and yeah, lemon well, yellow when you use a, a then I have to I have he doesn't have a grid over it take a put a grid of something plus over plus he has plus he has more um nebulae area it's more there's more, just in general. Yeah, I, I agree. I need to get a bit of different smoke. I need to get, like, a more of a... And it's thicker. more underneath the land and stuff like that. It's not anymore. And these are more the land, separated. But... Well, it looks like it, is what I'm saying. And so it looks like... And his stuff is all split up as well. The fact that his are all split up like that, and it, it, it just looks... Like, yours, yours can't really do that because it's just one big chunk. Yeah, they're not. If you look at the actual areas, like you can't even see half of his, his. Um, I can. Things. No, there's several sectors in there that aren't actually showing. Like, because I watched the whole thing be made, and you can't really see them, which is kind of weird. But you don't. You don't need to. They're probably things you can zoom in on. Whereas these big ones, they're all split up, like they would actually be, like star clusters would actually be. That middle is almost like emptier. Plus, like I said, the colors contrast better. There's transparency settings being used on the, um, whatever they are. Yeah, you're saying that, like, there's not already transparency settings on mine, though. That's why I don't understand what you're saying. No, not, it was, your land itself doesn't look transparent. It's at 30%. The land? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like the nebula area is over it. And again, the colors just, they don't, don't match. 
Well, no, that's the nebula. The nebula area, from what I'm looking at, is the one that's at 30%, not the red bits and stuff. But uh, it is over the black. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. He's also not using, like, a dark, dark background. He's got, like, the bright colors underneath it. Plus, again, the the red and the blue and stuff, I think, are just too dark of colors. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree the red and the blue are too dark colors. They, he's they probably change. used something to make them look glowier, like, uh... Nope. There's no filter on them that can no, I didn't say filter. There's something that can make them look glowier, and it's probably the background itself. He used a straight black background. Like I am. No, I'm... I meant the nebulae background, Finn. Oh, the nebulae? He used a uh, a black smoke pattern. No, I'm saying the way that, that it looks, it makes the landmass areas glow. That's the effect it gives. Yours looks like it's being surrounded by smoke. Yeah, th okay, once again, that's just... Oh, give me a minute. I'm just going to go find a different smoke pattern because you're so obsessed with the smoke pattern. Well, I'm just saying, like... That's why his looks better than yours, is because the, he's doing something different than what you are. He's got more smoke, it's more centered, and the stuff, the landmass areas, whatever they are, are more spread out, and so it kind of gives a glowy effect and a more space, out of space sci-fi look than what you've got. He's also using what looks like more neon colors. Which is actually pretty neat. I like the idea of using neon colors. Actually, he used like four different colors as he went through. He eventually just settled on what he had. He started yeah, like but green, they're but... neon colors. They're, they stand out on most backgrounds because they're supposed to look like out there colors. Want work? Thank you. Yeah, but like, he just used the standard colors of the, the chart. He just went with letter colors, which is fine. I like to do that. My problem is, is that I gotta find letter colors that don't contrast with my grid. Well, they do contrast with your grid. Contrast. I mean, that, that do, yeah, yeah. That, I mess that up all the time. Yeah, so yeah. They, they, do, <laughs> they do contrast with a grid. I mean, you need the grid to stand out. So I need to change the grid to be like orange or something completely like off the wall and then change them. Okay, this doesn't. Look at this. Oh. Yeah, that is the one problem I can see you having is that he doesn't have a grid, but you do. Yeah, I have to get that grid to. Because I can easily change the colors of the, the map thing. I can grab all fucking light colors, you know. Go with more like the teals and that for it. Um, let me turn that or that off. Leave the black on that. Okay. No, it's still not doing it like light enough. Why is he doing that? That. Oh, I know why. Because it's there we go so I can do like lighter bluey green type of colors for my map okay and then I can get some like get into more of the green no it needs a bit more but What would you do the center red? I don't like the red at all.
No, let's not do that. It's too eastery color now. <laughs> so if I put that down to like say something like that, uh, let me uh, turn that off actually. Turn the hex map on, alpha only. See how this stands out. If this works any better. Okay, turn that on, that on, that on. That, uh, stars. No. How does this look? I don't like the colors all that much, but they look a little different. They're not transparent enough, though, so I don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> how does that look? Interesting. It definitely looks more like a nebula type of thing, like just the colors in space type of thing. Yeah, it's more but colorful. I don't like the the map. Like it, I can't. Like I have it at fifty. Me. Mm, not sure. Looks a little better when I put it down to like thirty bits. Oh, maybe should it should be. Maybe we should eat in this here because it's been two hours. Yeah, but here, let me... That looks better, actually. How does that look? Hmm. Actually, yeah, that does look better. Yeah, I did. I put the sectors above the stars. So they went under all that, that crap, all the little... I realize I have all those many 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 little stars and I had that but you know what I need to do I need to take I want to take the the major stars out it looks neat now because it almost looks like a water uh, whirlpool in the middle <laughs> oh that's even better the hex grid's still a problem but can you see yeah you can't even see it when you zoom in I need to figure out what can I do with the hex grid Oh, there, that's even better now that I did that. Okay, let's get rid of that. Turn that off and that off. Okay. Make the hex grid like a bright orange or something. I tried that. You know what? I'm kind of curious if I just make it freaking white. Um, no, because then it, it, the stars. Shoot, you're right. Okay. Um, I tried making Wait, it. Okay. Show me what it looks like when it's bright orange. Oh, all right. I'll t turn everything on. Stars, the nebula, everything. Okay. And then I'll zoom in and I'll show you the grid. And you can. Even cannot... bright yellow or something. This is. Bright yellow is close to white, but it still contrasts with it heavily. That's what it looks like zoomed in. You, you can barely see them. That's like a, an orange, bright orange. It, like, for some reason, fades out. Okay, yeah, because it's on red, so do yellow. Um, so, you know, where is, it? is the oh. hex grid above? It's it's a it's the hex grid is always the highest thing. Okay. So make sure. you want to use a what a yellow? Yeah, and is it on a hundred percent? Oh yeah, the hex grid is a hundred percent opacity. Okay. Turn the major stars off. There we go. And now I'll brush over with protect alpha on. And turn it with a bright yellow. I think the hex grid thing is just really thin, so putting it next to all the stars and stuff makes it hard to see. 
Yeah, but you gotta... Plus, with all the nebulae stuff, like... Oh, I figured that's more of a zoom-in type of thing. You have to wait till you zoom in, really, to, to see it. As long as I can see it zoomed in, that's all I want. Okay. Oh, that's... Okay, yeah, yellow kind of fits. Yellow might be a good Show call. Me. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it right now. I'm just trying to get a zoom. Then in. also zoom in on the yellow one. The yellow mess. See what it looks like on there. I zoomed in on the red. Oh, yeah, okay. Here's mm, on a, Yeah. Even on a yellow zoomed in? I am smarts. Even on a yellow, that works. Copy. See, I told you it contrasts really well with most colors. Because it's so short. bright, but it's not quite white. I only went teal because you like teal, so I figured, okay, it'd be a cool color. It's very spacey looking. I like the smoke pattern that I picked. looks way better. Now I see, like, oranges coming out in different colors in areas, and mm. it's on the bottom. What do I have that, that at? That's a 40. I can lower that even a little bit. Okay, yeah. I am smarts. There, I even, you know, a little bit higher. Say 35%. This is why you always trust Jax's judgment. You just just got, saying. Okay, and I moved the stars out of the star thing, and I put it up to, like, higher. So it's above the sector. It's on top of the sector map thing. Maybe I don't need that. What if I put it down? Okay, that looks just... No, because it gives it that... You don't want them to have the I kind of like the tinted. What do you mean? It kind of looks good with the tints on them. Well, I put the tint on the, the stars. Like, I may even put the the other stars. I may unfold this. Because if the stars are tinted by their um, sectors, then it actually makes them stand out from all the other stars as well. well it really shows that they belong to that sector. Well, yeah, but I also want the stars themselves to be very clear. Like, um, I need to add some more major stars outside. They it would almost be funny worse. if some of the stars in, like, the other colors were slightly redder. And that shows that that's still areas that they couldn't take back from the red people. Because there would be areas like that. Okay, I like this much better. Here, I'll give you a full map thing. I adjusted some transparencies and some layers... I put the major cities on top of the area thing, but all the other stars are behind it. Um, looks the same when it's zoomed out, so zoom in. See, it looks different than me, even for the picture. Yeah, it looks less cloudy. It looks more nebulary. Um, let me zoom into an area with some multiple colors there. There we go. See, it looks brighter, but it's hard for me to tell unless you zoom in. Well, here, and this will give you a multiple colored area. And yeah, it does look more nebula y if the other stars are less white than the front star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 this yeah. lets you see the, the stars that matter, and it still has all the background kind of stars because space has like a ton more yeah. things. Oh, you robot. Uh, this is a great time to stream. Okay, I guess I'll end the stream. It is 12 Bye. in the morning. Goodbye, everybody. Hopefully this wasn't completely horrible. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll be playing this game hopefully fairly soon. Our characters are done. We're starting to make the world and the maps and stuff, so soon we'll be getting this going. And I'll end this right about here. Okay.